This right here is set up. It is like the Netflix for productivity apps, and it wants to save you money paying high upfront costs for apps, but also hosting all your apps in one location. It's a very interesting application, and we're going to do a set app review to give you an idea of whether it's worth your money and whether it's something that you're going to benefit from. We're going to particularly touch on some of the productivity apps in the middle of this review, but largely we'll give you an idea of, I guess, the whole perspective of using Setup as uh, an experience for Mac. So I'm going to dump into this one. My name is Francesco and welcome. So do subscribe if you're new and if you're in the hunt for productivity tools, jump over to Tool Finder. Everything will be linked below. So Setup is very simple. It's an application that hosts a lot of apps in one. So you can get a range of apps for the same price every month. A bit like Netflix. They'll add a new app and you'll still get access to it as long as you're paying the subscription. So this is what it looks like once you're in. And you can naturally go into collections and see uh, in particular which things you can get started with. But there's also different types of them. Like a designer might like these applications. Um, and there are a range of them. Now largely there are a lot of productivity apps here. Um, so if I go over to work, there's quite a range of them. There's everything from screenshot apps to calculation apps to habit trackers to time trackers and everything in between. I'm going to touch on a few of these, but largely um, it's probably too much to go in through in one video because they've got 240 developers that have made apps for setup. So you're getting 240 apps inside of this app, which is a pretty good deal. Um, the monthly pricing I'll touch on in a bit. So as you can see, there are a range of applications. I've got a few installed here, and I'm going to take you through maybe a few of them just to give you an idea of what they're like. So let's start with BusyCal. Now, BusyCal is a well-known calendar application that's been on the to um, calendar market for some time now. And as you can see, um, you can... <laughs> And as you can see, it's a good way to be able to set things up in terms of your calendar. Um, you can also add tasks within BusyCal. And it comes with a very simple design, including the likes of weather as well. There's a wide range of views, including month, yearly, and even like a timeline-based view, which gives you a very basic experience for your calendar. But largely, this is a very basic calendar application at heart. It isn't going to have the bells and whistles. But for those who don't know, uh, BusyCal, I believe, is priced at 49 bucks per month. Uh, no, sorry, 49 bucks per month. 49 bucks one off. So you're not investing in this application up front, which is probably about five months worth of your setup subscription. To give you an idea, that is obviously their model they're trying to go for. So it obviously sort of wavers the cost. It's like instead of buying DVDs up front, you buy, um, <laughs> you buy access to all of the DVDs, if that makes sense. So that was um, BusyCal, very simple in nature. There's one that I've recently been using called Clop. And this basically, um, it, it plugs in with your um, desktop. So for example, if I'm trying to reduce the size of an image, I can drag it down in the bottom right hand corner and it instantly turns it down to a reduced size. So in this case, I've already done it. So it's gonna make it a lot thinner. But for example, if I took um, a screenshot I did earlier, bang, it's gonna take it from 700 to about 300. So at the same time, it's optimizing the size of it. Next up is one that I've mentioned before, and one that we've done full reviews on, on YouTube on, and that's Session. Very simply, it's a timer application, and it's a really um, basic one in terms of structurally, you can you know set a timer, get going, but what's different about it is you get analytics every time that you sort of get going and starting adding sessions in, and that gives you an idea of how your productivity is going. So there are some really nice applications in this plan. Um, largely, Setup have taken um, a good snapshot of the market. And um, whilst maybe I don't know, I haven't checked out 240 of them, the general applications that are on there are from good developers. Um, some other notable ones, for example, is CleanShot, which is a well-known screenshotting application. So these are or not only productivity apps, but utilities that can be used. There's also apps like Craft, which is well known in the productivity space for really nice experiences for creating documents. And obviously there are naturally some limitations to it um, because obviously if you want to get access to more feature -like features within this, then it's gonna cost you a bit more. But largely the general abilities are good inside of um, Craft. And um, you can also get the iOS application and they're planning to release an iOS store soon. So this is a really interesting marketplace for apps to download them and get started use, utilizing them. So you might be wondering about pricing. Let's take a little look. 
So for personal users, it's $9.99 for the Mac version, as we've been talking about mainly about the Mac experience per month. And if you want Mac and iOS apps, you're going to get it for uh, four iOS apps and uh, four iOS devices, sorry, um, at $12.49 per month. So not a huge upgrade. But if you've got several Macs, then you can get the power user pricing. There is team pricing as well, which is relatively the same price, um, but you can also save 10% annually. They've more recently introduced an AI-based abilities, um, which is quite cool, but there's also a family plan which allows you and your family to get uh, set up and utilize it. And the benefits to this is, for example, if you're using it on multiple devices, then you could have a VPN, um, you could have uh, all of the planning stuff that your family might use, and everyone sort of gets a little bit of access to it uh, for four participants. And that's priced at $19.99. So let's give you an idea of whether it's good for you. So Setup's an interesting one because largely Setup is a range of different applications. Um, I would recommend checking out all of the apps on there and really getting an idea for which one's best for you because there are so many of them. And um, whilst a lot of them are good, I'd say the ones that I've taken a glance at, I'd say about 70% are pretty decent developers. Um, there are loads of small use case apps. So it's important to really work out what you want from setup and match those apps that are in there um, for you. Uh, once you get it, there is an AI assistant feature which will allow you to ask questions and get results. So that might help you narrow down your search. So I hope this review was helpful. If you want to dig deeper, you can get the links in the description and find more about Setup and naturally any productivity tool you're in the hunt for. But a big, big thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in a future video. Cheerio, folks.